Alright. Alright. Where should we start? Let's try making a propeller today. So we start with a cylinder. This be a three bladed propeller. It's not realistic. I want to see to the front. So let's do this. Asking a propeller, and what are you doing right now? I am doing one of the blades propeller right now. Let's get in here. How is this going to be propellered? Maybe I'll show you. First, extrude. Oh. Yeah. Let's use to the front. So I want to be. I will scale this with scale axis, middle button click. It's like two points to make a 45 degree angle. Continue. And a point I will have is at center. As you can see, forms this oval shape at a 45 angle. Like so. And I can do the same thing again. So this time, doing it the long way. Oops. Haha. <laughs> I'm being silly. And now, there we go. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> so that's the front. And I will make an airfoil shape out of this thing. The tools, I believe, tweak mode? Tweak mode. And I think control shift is maybe one of the way. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Tweaking with control shift and I'll show you also before we continue. I am using Wings version 1.3.0.1 and I think this is actually one of the betas, but I'm not sure. It's been <laughs> might be one of the betas. I'll probably say it there, but that shows you which version I'm using. So now I continue and I was tweaking with control and shift. On the thing, and I'm trying to go for it. Why is it not working? Oh, that's the way out. I don't want it way out there. Oh, I gotta exit tweaking it. Sometimes it lets it out. I don't know why. Let me out. No, it's not that good. Now it's flat. What I'm trying to do is get an airfoil shape. Or circularize. So I'm making an airflow shape down here. Center. Let's go to the 
It's a G and a C for ring and connect. Just so you know. It's a handy little cobbler remember. I am going to tighten these. Yeah. This is the root of a propeller blade. And you see there's an airfoil shape. This is the leading edge. It's the trailing edge. It's got a funky teardrop shape. And Move a little center. Move the That's about good. Now we extrude it to make the length of the blade. And I only have three minutes left, so I'm going to have to cut this into another part. Oh boy. And now you got a blade. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. This. Now you can see the blade is a section like so. Why? Time goes faster than it is. Not faster than I thought it was. But this portion of the blade, we're going to want to make this a lot narrower. So, we scale this on an axis using the middle mouse button click. Select two points. Two points will define that axis. The same two points will put it on the center. And we're making this a very narrow profile. So, so we have the color that goes from thick at the root to narrow and streamlined at the tip. What will we do next? We will hit G for ring 5 to get into 5 sections, C and C connects. Yeah, we will taper this thing. Yeah, we'll taper it. And how will we do that? Yeah, axis scale middle click with the Alt key held to invoke the magnet option. Scale axis, middle click with the Alt key held. So now we do the axis. For axis, I am going to pick the leading edge of the blade, like so. And right click to continue. Point, because I want it tapered towards the front. I think it will be somewhere like that. Yeah, that looks good. And outer boundary for the magnet. Oh, let's see. Down there. So. And check this out. The magnet operations, you got options if you look in your status bar at the bottom. So you can pick one bell that's a funky shape, two dome that doesn't quite work, three straight. That might work, but I like spike, so we'll do this. You see when you scrunched it up to, tape, to taper the blade tip, it also made it fit at the end again. So what we'll do is, same thing we did before, going to the other angle. Scale axis, you know, mouse click with the alt key held down. So this time, when I go across the blade, the thickness of it. Oh, which way? That way? And then this way? Yeah, it looks close enough. That will have to work. And... Power boundary, way down. Again. Yeah. Make it narrow at the tip. Like so. 
Oh, time's up. <laughs>